Hi again. So, Quick CPU has a new update. So we have now <clears throat> version 4.5.1.0 was released the 25th. None of my systems that run it reported that, except for one. It just popped up on the screen. So today is uh, uh, December. Well, today is December 1st. Happy, happy December to you. This is the last month of the year. And then next year will be 2023. How, my, how time flies. <laughs> okay. So i will be a lot of you who do not know what quick CPU is. It fine tunes, it monitors your CPU and system parameters such as CPU temperature, package and core, CPU performance, power voltage, current core parking, frequency scaling, uh, system memory, turbo boost, C states, and speed shift, as well as making other adjustments below. You can find what it is. So basically, it, there was a problem called parking core. It was beta. It's made by the same person. And they figured out a way to unlock the, the parking. Because by default, most machines are running to save power, save on battery life. But then you got a machine that can do 2.9 or 3 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz or whatever it is you got, you know, eight cores. You know. Okay, so you can now overclock it. You can bring it up to the full max because it, if it's if it can handle. But that's what it's showing here. This is a typical system frequency scaling, 50 percent. So, but the manufacturer lowers the performance. And you got a lousy machine. When you first get it, it might look, hey, it's fast. But then after a while, it's crap. So you can increase it. Now, like if you watch the other video on the, the heat with the Acer, this thing was over 200 Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's too hot. That means that your CPU is not, you know, it's not pushing the heat away and using its own um, either a fan in my case it is a fan it's a fan and a copper pipe they use using the intel system so it's aluminum and a, and then there's a, a copper in it to push the air out and then it has a fan exhaust fan to push it out the exhaust fan seems to be on all the time and well if that's on then the battery is going to go on it's supposed to keep the laptop at a certain temperature from overheating but if the laptop gets to a point where you can actually use it as a, a, a heater, <laughs> then you know something's wrong. So, but this program is good, it's a good early warning and telling you this is in Celsius. So you can change it to Fahrenheit if you're from the States and that's what you know. But you should learn Celsius because in other countries, you know, they use Celsius. So that's how I've been learning because I've been doing a lot of talk to a lot of people in other countries and they all talk of Celsius. So, you know, they'll say, I'll say it's hey, it's 100 F here, Fahrenheit. And they'll say, what's that? How, how is that equivalent to them? Ugh. But I, you know, if you get, if it's 39 C, then you're looking at 107. Because a lot of young kids who have high temperatures, yeah, so you look, you know, that's, how, that's what it's equivalent to, like between 102, 107. So that's how you have to remember in your head. Boom, boom. But anyway, this program here, I use it. I had on this machine here, uh, this is an APU, four cores. Um, it has six on the GPU. So you have six cores in the GPU. Um, and four gig of RAM on that. Oh, let me get out of this. No, this is a graphic. Come on. Okay. So, this is basically it. 
Should you use it? Yeah. But when you use it and you push your machine to the max and your power management, it's, it's modifying everything on the windows. So that's what it's doing. If your CPU is overheating, then you know it's time to take your take your machine apart and clean out, clean off the uh, silver oxide on the um, on the CPU and on the fan assembly and put fresh one there. Don't sit there and think it's going to go away. It's not. That stuff dries out after a while. It should okay. In my case, ten years. I noticed the heat problem in six years. It got worse and worse and worse. On all the desktops, I changed it out. The same, all the desktop. I have the, the two APUs, same issue. It dries out. Um, the older AMDs, yeah, I had the same issue. Those are really fast. The older ones, okay. All right, now. If you got 64 bit, you download the 64 bit. You got the 32 bit, you download the 32 bit. Wow. I was running, I was running this version all the whole time. You had one in the 17. Hmm. Okay, so let's download this and see how it goes. He uses uh, net. 4.6.1 frameworks. You'll have to have that installed. But most Windows have it. Windows 11 has a lot of stuff. So, see, this is a, that thing that you saw this pop up there is so annoying. They used to have it in the, in the system tray. We've come a long way with zip files. Boy, PK, PK, PKWare is the first one. Well, that is what zip files are based on. And we come a long way. These install programs are so easy to make. Microsoft wants you to use the, uh, they don't want you to download from these sites. They want you to use the Microsoft Store, like Apple Store, and Android, uh, Google Play, or Chrome OS, for the Chrome OS book the store. That's what they want you to use. They don't want you to go to third party and download. That's why you can't download from third party from them. Because um, they don't want you. You have to go from Android and Chrome OS. You have to. It's a lot to get it. It's called slot side loading. Well. Okay, so you won't see nothing on the screen. I shut off the program. It said it couldn't uh, shut it, close the program. So I just exited it out of um, Quick CPU. It's a good program. I like running it. Um, Helps me a lot. Everything I have in the house runs it. All the laptops, even the gateway that you get from Walmart. Did you guys get the gateway from Walmart? It was like 150. That's pretty cheap. You saved 50 bucks. <laughs> well, I would have saved 50 bucks if I got another one. But that's how I like it. But that laptop from Gateway can run uh, Windows 11 Pro. I had it on there, but it doesn't recognize the Acer keys since it's not a Gateway product. I'd have to go in there and change the uh, manufacturer name inside. There was a way of doing that. There was third-party software that could do all that. So I didn't bother go through all that hassle. Um, so now we can launch it. The screen will go blank, so you won't see nothing. Oh, 
I like how you, uh, why don't we have this down here? It's the same product. <laughs> okay, load it. Take a while to load. Well, what's happening is that I have the capture program running, so so my results are going to be different without the, with the capture. It's it's using more of the CPU. So the max on this is three point four point nine. Temperature is one hundred and two. That's normal for this. I know it wasn't working. This thing, this software wasn't working too well with the other APU I have. That's um, AP, that's a uh, what's that again called? Oh, APU four, which has two cores and four on the GPU. Okay. But you gotta remember, all these processors, you know, it's it's one processor, and then they have they all have two cores. It might have eight cores or higher you know all embedded into them into the little core but and years ago they, they used to have you have two processors in there or the f first intel was a chip then they went into uh, pentium 2 was a card a riser card you would stick it on the board pentium 3 had the same card then they got rid of it and they went down to back to the one processor they figured the card would be faster in the bus than um, embedded it into the motherboard I left those systems behind. I should have took them with me, but I have no room here. Really, so I have an AA55 APU, which is not bad. You notice it's an HD graphics. I can get 4K out of it, but it wasn't designed for 4K. So then you would have to use uh, the 16, the PCIe 16-bit one. I was thinking about that. I'm looking at the uh, what is it? Called? RB is it the RBX 580? Those are cheap. Those are, looking at those. Okay, so that's about it. Oh yeah, you can clean RAM with this as well too. I can't clean RAM. If I clean the RAM, then it's gonna affect. It's gonna affect this recording. So, okay. should I minimize this or just close out? If I close out, did it disappear or what's it? still there you changed it actually you changed the icon what is the release notes oh yeah and it has a release notes of the 32 bit huh? fix the SBI for AMD Ryzen model yes the APU was replaced by the Ryzen so basically the Ryzen CPUs are really APUs is this the next generation Oh, support for the Ryzen Pro processors. Fix inconsistent versions of the MSI installer. Fix support for NVMe drives. Minor UI changes. Yeah, well, that's good. Unless he's still doing this. <clears throat> oh, what can I say? We like computers coding software for you guys. This offer is free. There's no way he could charge for it because people wouldn't know what it's used for. And the only way he could build a, he could make money is to take it to Microsoft. I think only if you perfected this. This is a good, this would be a good product. This is a sniffer. So say you're working in a business as a contractor, and say they say, "Hey, uh, we need you to monitor the network." You could sniff and see. I used to use something like this. It was called. Uh, Land spy. I don't know. I don't. And the guy was just like this guy, giving away for free. Land spy on a on a domain. 
in a network because I was responsible. I was a project coordinator, project manager, slash manager, manage issues, blah, 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 blah. In other words, I was in charge of rollouts. So I want to make sure the system, the rollouts were done. So I run the lens uh, tool, the lens spot. It told me if what the system had on it. So I know the job was done. Then I if I, then that saved a lot of time. So you see how that comes But a lot of administrators, a lot of companies don't want you to do that. You know, so blah, 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 blah. <laughs> See, this is what it does. Monitors and enhanced CPU for real time. Hey, download it. Do a system um, before you install it. Do a system recovery in case you have problems. Uh, that's the best I can tell you. You should not really put all your files on your computer. The only things that should be on that computer is a program. Anything else, like data files, like on a laptop, these laptops we have, like the gateway, you can store things on your SSD. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, store things on your um, micro SD card, okay? Or X, S, S, SDX card, okay? Which uh, goes up to 512V. So, so download to that. You, it, it's streamlined. It's so quick, you wouldn't even notice anything sluggish. And save it to that. If you're on the, if you're on the road, that's what you're going to have to do because you're off your network. Unless you have it so you can communicate with your NAS remotely. But most of those connections are really slow. I tried that on a cruise ship. I was on a cruise ship. And I tried to communicate with my server back back in America. Oh, my goodness gracious. It was slow. And it cost $5 an hour to communicate over the network. Was it worth it? Well, I wanted to see if it does work. But it does work. Or con communicate. Say you had a pet in the house and you want to check on you left the webcam on and you want to communicate with a computer and on, all of a sudden it's working it said uh, hey you can talk to the do dog and say, hey are you there how are you doing the dog gets excited and what happened the dog knocks the computer down and the webcam goes <laughs> yeah so there's there then you come back and you see the computer on the floor smashed and uh, the dog looks sad oh, i didn't do it yeah. Hey, um, thanks for watching, okay? I hope you learned something, all right? And sometimes I give little extra tidbits. Okay. All right, so this is for the quick CPU update for 4.5, 4.5.1, that's it. All right, all right, take care now, that's it. Any questions, feel free to ask. We're out of here. Don't, oh, be sure you subscribe to the channel. Because that ha tells me that, hey, you want more videos and you enjoy listening to me. You know, I have a lot of experience with computers. Of course, a lot. <laughs> All right. Bye for now.